Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising. Weekly Tarot reading November 25th to December 2nd, uh, 1st, excuse me, 2019. And uh, just hold on with me, guys, for a couple of seconds to give a good shuffle, a refill one to the cards, and uh, we are going to dive into it straight away. All right, so the first card which will represent the topic of uh, the week for you, Taurus, is going to be the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week, we do have the Empress card. Followed by the third one which, oh, look at that, so standing as a positive aspect of the week, that will be the Tower. And the final one which will represent the uh, guidance the Tower is offering. Uh, wow, man, I mean, you, you really have this one. Uh, that will be the world. So, um, well, where do I even begin with? Or what do I even begin with here? Uh, that, that will be quite a severe week for you guys. So uh, let's start with the Queen of Wands as per usual. So that will be the topic. And uh, it's catalyzed here by the temperance card. So we do have an active support us into this position. And that is a person who just found that it's their way to your heart, if you will, or to your predisposition. Because it could refer to business as well, right? But the point is, <clears throat> it is that this queen found just the right measures or it has the right measures to enthrall to to enthrall you right enthralling you with the uh with the ability to see the positive and the negative aspects of your character of your behavior if you will, of your life as well and has no problem with either of them that's the best thing and uh together actually depending on what kind of a situation this uh queen manifest itself that's a person all right you can have really really good time together because the queen of wounds is usually a person who really has that knack of life it knows how to enjoy in general but it is also a, a very attractive or attractive person yeah i mean a handsome person all right and on top of it it does have a an, an acute business sense so it can go either way and the best thing with the temperance it is that this queen or that person never goes extreme it never goes into rampage or it never goes into a state where they don't give a damn all right and they always keep up this kind of like a, a pace where everything magically happen as they perform into it so bottom line here, what is going to be uh, its, um, its influence? What is the reason the Queen of Wands to come into your life? Well, that is, or in this uh, week, well, that is hidden in the next cards. And um, 
long story short, uh, so you can fix something. That's the whole thing. You, it may be so you can fix your love life. It may be so you can fix your career life, all right? Or maybe so you can fix uh, your a uh, social circle. It is about fixing something, something that maybe you gave up on it for a uh, quite of a long time. Unfortunately, the process is not gonna be easy on you guys. And that is shown here into the second one, which is going to be the Empress. That is the challenge that you will need to overcome, uh, <clears throat> catalyzed with this Six of Swords. So we do have a, a passive enemies. And what those cards divulge in this position, it is that you will have really tough time believing actually that may be your savior. I mean the queen of wands, maybe your savior. And under savior, I don't mean that this queen is gonna make your life worth living again because probably you do have many other things to hold on into, all right? But definitely it is a savior of that thing that have been broken or it is a in halt. So you have to fix it in in um, in one way or another and the difficulty is going to be you uh, making the conscious the conscious excuse me mature decision to try it out maybe you got sick of it maybe you don't want to suffer anymore because that thing is related to i cannot say really suffering but it is more like a throwing your, yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone it's always when the empress comes into the uh into the challenging position it always relates to that and as you throw yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone then you may kind of like have that difficult time to make a well-found decisions mature kind of uh, decisions. Uh, important thing to be acknowledged here with these two cards, however, Taurus, is that whatever you sown throughout this week, guys, it is yours to reap either bitter or sweet. So do not make any irrational judgments, any irrational decisions. The Empress card, uh, the Empress card is an earth card, so it's connected with civilization. It's not connected with emotions. Well, it is, but the, the, the emotions are not the primary driving force. Therefore, you have to think about how comfortable you are to be um, after the process is finished, instead of how good you are going to feel at the moment. Right, that that's that's the main thing here that you need to think of. Another um, another thing is that these two cards are pointing. It is that you may think that it is way too of a long shot. What I mean is that there is way too much things for you to risk uh, as you undergo that process with the Queen of Wands of fixing a thing, a situation, right, into your life. While in reality. There is nothing for you to be afraid of. It's as simple as that. So going into the positive aspect here, just one second, my camera just, my watch here, lost my camera. All right, so we are in the game. Um, that will be the tower card and it will be catalyzed with the two of pentacles. We do have an active neutrals here. So um, on a positive aspect, this transformation because it is really a transformation going outside of your comfort zone fixing something obviously is gonna the after the fix is gonna be in a different stage and shape as you have left it before so it is a transformation is going to ultimately have a nurturing and healing effect effects upon your life the good thing uh, with the two of wands as a uh, neutral to the tower card it is that is not going to consume a lot of time and is not going to demand a, a lot of attention from you so you don't have to abandon everything around all right you can't you can't give the same attention to your family for example you can give the same attention to your career while simultaneously okay you're bringing back to its feet a, a thing you have lost back in the days and uh, Another thing it is that you have the chance or rather like the privilege to rebuild it completely. Okay, rebuild it completely according to your image. That is the best thing that the tower gives into a, a positive position. You bring it down and then you rebuild it the way you like it. So at the end of the day, if you don't find uh, what you have built, uh, that it is something you like, that is because you have built it that way and you are the only one who can be mad at 
at themselves. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, you can blame only yourself for it. So <clears throat> why I'm saying that is because it will be very important here as you start rebuilding uh, your situation, let's say your um, intimate life or, you know, your career life, to be honest with yourself, to be true to yourself, to be true to your goal, to be true to your agenda, instead of following alienated goals, alienated agendas, or someone else as an, an example uh, for that fact. So the last card here refers to the guidance the tower is offering and we do have the world card that it is accompanied with the king of cups and uh, this guidance refers when you undergo the process of a transformation. The first thing uh, that, uh, well, also for the process itself, but the only thing about the process that these two cards are saying, it is that um, you are strong enough, even at certain points, you may kind of find yourself exhausted. You may find yourself with lack of clamor and etc. etc. You are strong enough to complete it, to finalize it. And what happens when you finalize it? Well, this is where the world really kicks in. A new perspective emerges. And what that perspective is going to be? A very, very tempting offer from someone or from something and under something i mean it could be a, a business offer you know it could be an offer for a um i don't know for a vacation it does depend what kind of a goal you are chasing here but really after you rebuild that situation and bring it back on its feet once again then really the horizon unfolds all right the opportunities unfolds the op the options available uh, available unfolds and not to mention that you are going to start experiencing deep satisfaction of how far you get you know listening and probably cooperating as well with the queen of wands so pretty much um that will be a, a person who not just only gives you the recipe of success but as well helps you to get there and it will be um, that is the last thing uh, from the guidance here. It will be a shame if you turn away that helping hand because you don't need to. I mean, you don't need to turn away the helping hand that comes around. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 25th to December 1st, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.